Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Hey. Yes. Awesome. Syntax, you look so festive and different this year. I figured I'd wear my uh, Christmas outfit for one more meeting. <laughs> Get the more bang for your buck. I'm not wearing mine because I don't want to scare anyone. <laughs> oh, no. It was a giant Christmas spider. <laughs> so you were Australian for the New Year's. That's right. <laughs> All lies. We love our spiders. Too, anyway, I get so excited when there's a huge spider in my apartment. I'm like, yay, less flies. Woohoo. Now that's the attitude. <laughs> Seriously, I went down the, down the staircase the other week and there was one in the thing. And I was like, thanks for your job. Good work. <laughs> get walking down the stairs. You know, one day if they take over, maybe they'll remember I was nice. One can hope. <laughs> I always fat finger the uh, shift and enter key. No one was. I was just checking to make sure. Because we've had those in the middle of the meeting, people getting upset situations in the past. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. I got it set up. Perfect. I don't think anyone else is going to show up. Okay, so uh, I just wanted to talk about the outage that we had on the 31st, uh, so New Year's Eve, which uh, was for a few hours where stores and products couldn't be found in search. Uh, there was also an issue where products couldn't be listed. We fixed the issue, um, and we've taken some steps to make it so we are alerted a little bit quicker, and also that hopefully it won't happen in the future. Uh, but with that being said, if you're still having any issues with your store not showing up in search, your products not <laughs> showing up, or not being able to list your products, uh, please contact support, and they'll point to us to the ticket, and then we'll take a look at it and investigate it. But it looks like everything from our end looks good now. Um, just an unfortunate set of circumstances on a holiday uh, where, you know, it's kind of one of those perfect storm situations. So I, I don't foresee it being a continued problem, uh, but yeah, if you're having any issues, please reach out to us. I'd like to say something though. This has been a problem for eight months. This isn't. This wasn't a rare issue. This wasn't something that just cropped up. This has been going on for eight months ever since the changes have been made from the MP. And I wish other creators were here today, but I'm here to speak for them. Uh, so much that I tried to send a letter to the vice president of products. Because as a store owner, as my customers are complaining, I mean, this is this is not an isolated issue. 
And, and I'm not speaking just as somebody here in Linden Lab. I'm speaking as a certified product owner, a certified scrum master. This is what I do on a, on a daily basis. And this is frustrating. I mean, I, I the email that I sent, I've listed all the tickets, um, everything, all the historical um, aspects of this issue that have been happening. And so I, I, I appreciate that you say that it's been fixed, but it's not fixed. And even after you did fix it, other people were still having the exact same issue where they went in, they edited their product, they didn't make a change, but then they hit apply. And that's the same exact issue that I had back when the changes were made uh, back in April, May, when my store, all of a sudden my products were gone. So I don't think it is fixed. Um, and I think it does need to be looked at deeper. And I don't know what all happened. Um, but yeah, this is this is affecting people's financial security. This isn't just about finding products on the marketplace. I mean, I wish more creators were here because the forums are littered with them. Discord is littered with them. Uh, people are pissed. I mean, I'm just gonna say it outright. People are pissed. I mean, my sales, I've got all the, the data from Casperven because I run everything through Casperven. My sales have dropped at least 50%. I've got the charts to prove it ever since the changes were made in April. And I've heard of store owners, their sales have dropped 80%. People are having to get rid of their regions. People are having to get rid of their stores. I mean, this is a big issue. And the, the, the bottom line is it actually affects, um, it, it, it affects Linden Labs' bottom line at the end of the day. So I think this is a bigger issue. I mean, it's... It's all over the place. You guys just have to look. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to sound insistent here, but, you know, I'm looking at this from a professional aspect and something's wrong. Something's really wrong. And not only that, you guys have opened up a huge exploit uh, with, the, uh, um, with Elasticsearch. Um, if the search is so messed up on the marketplace, it, it, it's insane. And I've got all the screenshots. People are um, exploiting the features tab and their keyword spamming in the features tab. Uh, you guys have got, uh, you're, you're weighted on your titles, which is giving an unfair advantage of, to people who are using these exploits. My products don't even come up anywhere in the search anymore, like nothing. I mean, and I've, I've got all the screenshots right here as a matter of fact, because I made sure. I, I mean, I came prepared for this meeting. So here's my sales. Right, you can see exactly when they dropped off. It was a direct result, as um, from the changes on the marketplace. This is also this is the exploit that's been happening. I have put in a ticket with support, and support's like, well, you just need to flag the listing. How can you flag a store that has thousands of items? I can't go in and flag every single listing on this. This is crazy. It's I also mean, not your job, really, to be flagging people that are doing the wrong thing. Yeah, no, it's not. And this isn't, this is just one store. There's a ton of stores that are doing this, not to mention too, and I can go and I can show you right now. They're also using the title to put stars in the title. Yeah, we've they, done that. They, we've covered that. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. I mean, it's, there's just so many exploits that have been opened up from Elasticsearch and not actually setting it up properly. Right. I mean, I get what you guys were trying to do. I really do, but something messed up big time. And this is affecting so many people financially that, that rely on Second Life to pay their bills, to feed their families. And, and I'm hearing it over and over again to the point to where it brings me to tears because I don't like seeing my friends suffer. And these are my friends as well as my competition, but they're my what? friends. What you were just saying just made me think of like maybe a fix for whatever is happening with the um, the the title listing. What if what if the um, regardless of what you called your item, what if your store name actually became the first point by default? So everything I listed always was flare something. Like 
Do you know what I mean? Well, like, I mean, I, I do that. I do that anyways, thankfully. No, no, Otherwise, no, I, nobody I, would, yeah. I, I understand that we do it because I do it too. But what I'm saying is if in the back end, there was no way to uh, mess with stuff there because it would just right. automatically say the store name. So you could just say Flair Cheer Cup. The Cheer Cup part would be the part you would input but it would automatically put the flare part there because it would be your brand. It goes deeper than that though, because the search is just like so messed up right now. I, I was searching, I, don't like like, I was, yeah, I was searching the other day for something that I know. Oh, in fact, it was um, balloons. <laughs> I, I went, I looked up Hive. I was looking for balloons for a New Year's Eve event, right? And I knew the balloons were from Hive. So I typed in Hive, nothing from Hive came up nothing i had to go and before it would at least hives products would show up and then i can go oh, okay i click on hive and i go to the store and i find what i need now nothing shows up so it's it's so broken right now but it's it's been broken it's been broken for eight months and it's like the the search was never broken before that the search actually worked really really well and I, 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 yeah, it worked so good because I, I never go to events. I always shop on the marketplace. And now if I'm just like, uh, I'm not buying anything. I, I, I can't even find a dress because now all this stuff literally from like 2011 is showing up. I don't even know, like, prim hair. <laughs> it's like... I don't, I don't get it. I don't know what happened. But the bottom that, line is it's affecting people, not right. customers and creators alike. I know that when they seem to move the merchant name part, um, where they did something with that, where you did something with that, um, that seemed to just unhinge the whole of SL. Because yeah. I always, for the history of my Second Life Marketplace, used, yep. it was, I just typed the name in and the things would come up. And I would Absolutely. use the merchant part because I knew who they were. But now people don't come up or or they come up so far back because it. I don't know what's happened there. But like the other, the other week, I worked out that Izzy's, one of the most popular stores in SL because she does all the, the fixes for skins and stuff. Yeah. I realized that Izzy's unfortunately had not branded her store. She was a store name Izzy Button. Oh, but yeah. It used to be that if you typed Izzy's anywhere, you would get her item, click it, and then find what you actually wanted. You could be lazy about it. But because exactly. she, didn't, she didn't have that, it no longer d works that way. I can't and find any of her stuff. Right, but luckily I was able to get her to actually brand her. She didn't know. She didn't have okay. Izzy's as her brand. So now she does. But it shouldn't It shouldn't be like that. And I've just noticed that my own store, um, which I didn't realize, my store is called Flair. I'm sold by Sassy Scarborough. But somebody else has the same name for their store, and it's sold by S-U-H-H, -H, Winter Wolf. Mm -hmm. Now, alphabetically, I should come first because they also made their store in 2010 and I made my store in 2006. So what's happening there? Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop a search in here, Lyndon's, because I really want you to see this. So this is just type in bed. Just bed. Simple bed, right? I shouldn't have to look through, and, and yes, this is on relevance, and yes, this is from general, moderate, and adult. I'm sorry, so if you don't want to look at adult stuff, don't look at the, at the link. Um, but I still have never been so inundated with some of, like, hey, we're all adults here, but this is gross. This is, I have never been inundated with stuff like this before, with images like this and every, never. In the history of SL, I've been here 13 years, and I have never been inundated. And this is because of the exploit now with the title and with the features tab. That all so of a sudden, the, the exploit is, is, is uh, yeah, people so, putting feature tag. So hold on, I'm just trying to get to specifics. So yeah. the, the, the exploit is 
people relisting a certain keyword in the features tab multiple times. But what, oh, what was the what was the one on the title? It's it's just they just put bed in the title and then here I just took a gazo gazo of it. They put bed in the title and then the features tab they spam bed and everybody's catching on to this across the board. This is starting to happen not just in bed. This is happening across uh, all products. I feel and like there are... has to be repercussions for the people that are just being shady as hell. Yeah. You know, like the five the five gold stars thing. That's not that's not a mistake. That's no, it's not trying to get one up over who yeah. we're, we're supposed to I understand competition. I do. I understand business, definitely do. But we're a community for first and foremost. The fact that people are, are like trying to claw their way over the top of other designers by doing shady practices. There yeah. should be repercussions for that. Like your marketplace sh should be put to sleep for 24 hours if you're caught doing something that's just just against the, the rules. Or maybe the rules need to be readdressed for 2024 because people have come up with things. I understand what it's like to try and work out what people are going to come up with and then and then somebody out of the blue will come up with something you couldn't have even imagined that they'd be so shady. Maybe that's that's the thing. Yeah, because um, it, it's. I mean, I used to be, used to be able to type in bed, and you would get really good products. I mean, I used to see nutmeg up there, apple fall. My stuff would come up there. I mean, I would I would go and just type in bed just for competitive. You know, just to kind of see what my competitors are doing, and like none of these people are my competitors, but they're kind of becoming competitors because now they're selling. <laughs> really crappy products, but people don't even know that there's other stuff in there, especially if they're new to Second Life, because these people are spamming the search listings. I mean, it's it's these stores are just, I mean, all you have, all the top stores that are in here are doing it. I mean, just do a search on anything, you'll see them. But if you see that features tab, that's what's doing it. I mean, it's, it's just also where age, the age of listing would come into play in a big way too, because I don't, I mean, I, I do not st say stuff usually about people's content. Everybody yeah. has their chance to shine, but I don't understand what that is. Yeah. Is that yeah. something from 2006 that's still yeah. in, in the thing or what, what is going on there? It's three prims. What is yeah. happening? And um, this is a that that's this... coming up. As as bed, I know. Oh, people are spamming the, the, like that. But is this a yeah. new store? Is this is this it's like a really old store? So, putting that filter in that we've discussed before, syntax, where you could actually say you don't want to see anything except from two thousand and twenty. Absolutely. Onwards, don't want to see, or you want to actually see everything from two thousand and four to two thousand and nine because you'll get your best bomb stuff, like. Um, yeah, it would be really helpful because you could filter out things that just are unnecessary. Um, uh, you know, the, 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 the search is giving you stuff that's just really hard to navigate. Newest first isn't always better. No, um, it's not because there's, there's, no there's spamming option. stuff. Right. Yeah. I just mean newest first doesn't give you the best items always. There's still stuff that's just absolutely wonderful from much later than that. So we don't have enough options. Best selling is not always the best item either. So having actual years, having actual, you know, t the ability to filter out like that would be so helpful, I think. So check, check this search out right here. Again, bed under the general category. Scroll down. All of a sudden, I've got bodysuits. I've got bodysuits. I've got poses. I've got three prims. I do I've understand got... the rompers, though, because they're looking at them as pajamas, I guess. So that would but... probably be an innocence thing of putting bed, sleep, night, night. Do you know? No, I that's, see that's, that would happen. that's yes and no. But but is that is that taking advantage of, of spamming keywords? I mean, is it relevant? Is it really relevant? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of non-relevant stuff that's coming up, and that's my point. I mean, if you well, I if you continue to scroll, 
I think right. that that's relevant in the sense of if I was looking to outfit my bed, like I, I'm going to give them a pass on that one because if I was looking to outfit my bedroom in my new Linden home, blah, 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 and that cute romper came up that was like a little nighty sort of thing, I might not have been shopping for it, but it kind of – it that kind of carries into that what we talked about before too, Syntax and Garfield too, about related items. So I guess that, that would fall into the – it's a relatable item. I would look at it and go, oh, I wasn't planning on buying pajamas while I was looking for a bed, but I can see why I'd want some. So okay, but when, you, but when you get three pages and my pages are set to 94, when I get three pages of rompers, it gets old. And I've got to scroll into like five or six pages to even start finding items that I want. Right, that's, and this and this is another thing we've talked about too. Is 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 combining listings. So instead of listing forty seven colors of your item, you'd list your item, and you'd be you'd have the forty seven colors available to click on in the listing. Right. We've hoped for that too, but that's yeah, that's not something that that is going to happen overnight. But it it, has, it's it not. Really but up. but again, this didn't used to happen before the search got changed. I, I've never seen this. 13 years, I've never seen this. Yeah. So, I think seen that, I think more, that we have... I, so I just want to cut in for a second. Um, specifically about... So let's let's take some examples here. The bed search, yep. right? Yeah. Um, I think I've, I've caught on two things here as two details for things you haven't seen specifically before. One, you're seeing more adult content. And two, you're seeing uh, if you set... A certain maturity level like general instead of adult you're seeing things that aren't relevant to your keywords such as the rompers because I, well, I just want to capture if, the details you're giving me no so the details are so let's back up so the details are if i do just a search i've got all of them set general whatever the big issue is a the title and the features tab whoever's mm -hmm. using that features tab to spam i'm sorry but they need to be out that or, or ban or you know taken down for 24 hours, make them change their store or whatever because it, they're they're gaming the system, 100%. They're gaming the system, and literally for like three pages, all you see is this store, and it's actually three stores right now that are doing it, and they know they're doing it, and it's the same ones that are using the stars. They're totally gaming the system, making it so all these other great creators don't even have a chance. Those are the two main things. You know, all yeah. the other stuff I think we can filter out and stuff like that, right? But yeah, um, what's happening now is if you're searching for bed, it goes by title first, then it's obviously looking at this features tab. I don't even know where description comes in, but then it's looking at keywords and people are spamming, they're, they're using, they're, you know, the keyword, everyone's putting everything in their keywords, you know, and it's, and it's coming up. Those are the highest weighted elements in the elastic search it goes by title it's i think it's supposed to go by description it's obviously reading features which is part of the description i don't know how it, it looks in the code and then it's going by keywords and so it's bringing up a lot of stuff that just there i mean the search speaks for itself i mean and oh. now you had now you too you've got all this really old content i mean i thought this was supposed to clean up the marketplace and i'm seeing content in here that i would never in a million years buy like it's uh, so, so i want to ask another question yeah. about something you, you said earlier um yeah you said you said so one of the things that you didn't like about the change uh I'm trying to remember when this was like in april or march whatever it was um was that you can't search for a store name anymore Mm -mm. When when you're searching for a store name, um, can you walk me through exactly how you do it? Is it that you go to the items search and you just type in a person's name in the keyword box? Yeah. And search? Right. Yeah. So hers her her example was perfect. I I buy a ton of Izzy stuff, so I just type in Izzy um, in the past, and you know something of hers will show up, right. and I'm like, oh great, and then I just click on her store. I just click on the item and I go directly to her store. Now that doesn't even happen because. It doesn't read store names anymore. Did, were you and, and searching? Like, I'm, I'm just trying to um, understand as much as I can. 
um, were you searching for like a person's name? Like, so like, for example, no, uh, Dima instead of M Y S A, or you talking about no. actually searching the store name, actually searching the store name. Yep. So syntax, we did actually make that change before the elastic. That one's like separate from the elastic search. We, uh, had some tickets that suggested that there was store name spam in titles and that we should separate the store name out of the rest of the search. So that was a separate oh, okay. thing from oh, the elastic. That's, oh. Yeah, that, that was a mistake. If that was actually, yeah. a mistake, that was a bad mistake because when, okay, so Izzy's was wow. my example. Just one, just hold on one sec. Izzy's was my example because if when people are having issues with skins or anything like that, she does everything. She does blemishes. She does pimples, freckles, stretch marks, the whole lot. Okay. So you can be in any group in Second Life and somebody will ask for something and 9.7% and of the uh, time somebody will yell out Izzy's, right? So if you go – so I always used to search – the same as Dima, I would not even bother with the merchant tab necessarily. I would just type Izzy's, 47 items would turn up. I'd click on one and then I'd search for what I actually wanted once I was in the store name. Blueberry, the same. Blueberry is such a such a big known store. And yet if you search Blueberry, then they're, you know, uh, the eighth or ninth item has blue is, is one of her items. So, but I think it's a gacha. It's not even her item. Yeah, it's gachas that are coming up, not her. So you used to be able to then click on that item and, and go to their store page, right? So the other day when I realized when I was searching Izzy's and suddenly she wasn't coming up. So I went to merchant tab and typed in Izzy's and normally because I know people's names, I typed their name because I'm old and, <laughs> and I didn't, I actually typed Izzy's and she didn't come up. Another store called Izzy came up and I was like, what is happening? Because she didn't even come up with typing Izzy without apostrophe S, which makes no sense because she should still have come up and uh let, sorry i did type apostrophe s yes, but she should have still come up in the way it came up and she didn't and i realized she hadn't branded her store once she did she now comes up in merchant stores like that but she should still come up in searching... Sassy, real quick what did you mean by branded her store okay so you've got two cat you've got two things if you go to merchant home Huh? And you go to edit store information, right? If you don't put a store name in the store name category, you do not show up in search, in merchant search that way. So all of these crazy people that are changing their avatar names and all of these people that use characters in their avatar names and things like that now, if, if you don't know their name or what they changed to or whatever, you will never find them. And because some of these people joined SL and got their marketplace store when they were so new that they hadn't conceptualized the name, they don't realize they have to do that. So because I realized that's what she'd done, she's gone in and she's put Izzy's in her store name. Yeah, okay. If you don't have it there, you won't come up. Yeah. For instance, I just sent you that search for Blueberry. And I love Blueberry products. And I used to be able to do the same, just go to the regular search type in Blueberry and go directly to their store. There is not one Blueberry product in that search on 96 items, yep. except for they're gotchas. All gotchas. Yep, yep, they're all gotchas, which would lead customers astray because then they think they're buying from the person that somebody told them to buy from and they would think that that's Blueberry's store. Yep. So it's 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 just you've you've taken away what is essentially has been the essence of how we've shopped for over a decade and you removed it and i still love you but you did something really bad yeah i love you all too but i will agree this is and this thank is you, this. and thank you for actually saying that you did it rather than like i so appreciate it. that yeah <laughs> later because now yeah. we actually know that it was, it's not a broken, it was an intent. So you can revisit yeah. that. I, I would, I would be really curious to know that you said you had, you know, a few people were saying that people were spamming and stuff like that, but did you ever speak to the creators? Did you ever speak? I mean, put that out in an open forum and say, Hey, how do you all use search, you know, or 
Where Syntax the, does that in this meeting, but again, there's not enough of us. I was going to say, nobody, I mean, who comes to the meetings? I think this is, you know, this is something that can be put out to the greater SL community. Um, because, yeah, it's been really detrimental for your creators and your customers. I mean, I can't, I can imagine, I mean, I know my sales have dropped. Everybody's sales have dropped. Uh, question for you. The, so it seems like a lot of times when, when, you're, when you're looking for something on Marketplace, you're starting with a creator and not so much a keyword for an item in mind. Is, is that like a common thing right. we do? Yeah, right. can I, can we, look, I... we look for the uh, we look for the creator because, like for instance, I feel like buying a bed. Let's use the bed topic, and I'm gonna go. I feel like buying a bed. Oh, what's Dutchie got? And I'll search mm -hmm. Dutchie. Poor see, Dutchie okay. lost nearly all of her items recently. Oh my gosh! Right? Yeah. But but again, I might type in Dutchie, or I might or somebody, or I might type in nas or or so i can't really think of any bed i never buy beds so sorry but i just and, and not bed. i mean for like, instance or, my customer is misa yeah or hive as as you said or dust bunny or somebody like yeah. that i'll just type that in right now dust bunny hive i don't know those girls names off by heart but i mm -hmm. would have but but for over a decade if i typed anybody's name in the in the first tab the store would come up and then I'd click to it and go to, go to more things, right? I didn't have to click the merchant one. But if if 94 objects, I know that's new, but say 20 objects came up and I didn't see what I wanted, then I'd go, oh, okay, I'll press the tab. <laughs> oh, it's so much work. Oh. But, <laughs> but I would do it and then I would and then I would look for them for real. But as I just as I just said, yeah. like it's it's so laden with with things that just don't even make sense like again i don't know why i don't turn up before somebody that has an a younger store than mine has mm. a different alphabet than like here here we go i'll just i'll just show you like this doesn't make sense i'm not trying i don't really care about no, my uh, store. When we said Phone tab earlier, do we mean the merchant store tab? Um, like, oh, I... like I'll, I'll just click the other tab if, if I have to. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna ask. That's exactly what I. I'm gonna ask I... you. I want to ask a question. Do you use SL Search? Do you shop on the marketplace? When you say SL Search, do you mean no. the marketplace search, no. or do you mean web search? No. Yeah, do you you do do you do you search the marketplace? Do you know how it yeah, works? Yeah, all time. But I what I. Oh. Curious on is which search are you referring to? Are you referring to marketplace oh. search or web search? Marketplace search. We're we're talking one hundred percent about marketplace search. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do sorry, use it, sorry, but I, sorry, I, I, sorry to ask the question because you're out. You're asking some of these questions, and I'm like, do you use the search? <laughs> I do use it, but the, 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 I'm trying to understand how, how you use it, and then also trying to understand how I might be interpreting what you're saying differently. Uh, um, also another question I had head. was, is what, what, why do we prefer looking for creators on product search, on the item search, instead of the merchant tab? Like, what do we not like about the merchant tab? Uh, I only use the merchant tab if, uh, lately I've been using it a lot because I can't find the merchants because the search engine doesn't, doesn't work anymore. <laughs> merchant tab only seems to work well, if you actually know the creator's name, name like their yeah. actual legacy name, it's not working any longer really well. For the store name, as I just uh, showed okay. you, why? How? Okay, so if somebody turned around and yelled out "Flair" as the shop to buy from, yeah, would they go to Sal Winter Wolf's Flair? Or my flair? Why would you go? Like, okay, I've got pictures, sure, but what if they had pictures? Like, do you, do you get what I mean? Like, the the customer is has no idea because you don't have you're not controlling branding properly. And I've asked this before. I, I've you know we should have yeah, branding. I that one. Yeah, where where we own the brand, there can't be forty seven other blueberries, and. You know, there shouldn't be allowed to be, and I'm not trying to, again, you know, override other people, but I kind of feel like if, if nobody can be Sassy Scarborough, why can somebody else be Flair? 
you know, if 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 some, I I understand there's only so many, but it it's just difficult. So anyway, merchants merchant store doesn't work the same the store part is irrelevant now and merchant unfortunately with all the name changes being possible uh, some creators i don't know why but some creators have not realized that changing their name has impacted their business too because I can't, you know, Cynthia Ulch from Sinful has been Cynthia Ulch my whole SL and now she's Cynthia XXO or something. And Kathleen's owner is now suddenly actually Kathleen instead of the not Kathleen name she had before. So if you don't know their names, merchant store is, irre- is useless because if there are 20 other Kathleen's, how would you know which one is the one that you want? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're yeah. looking for so like it, somebody like Blueberry, um, and you're you looking in the product search, like let's go, let's go back to the, the before the changes. Yeah. You were searching oh, for yeah. someone like Blueberry oh, wait, and product yeah. search. You yeah, would find yeah. them because their their products are popular, right? Absolutely. But if you're doing like a, a merchant store search, there could be a lot of different blueberries, and it's not exactly looking at like how popular right. that store is. All right. right. And and that's what I don't understand with what I just showed you. To use myself as an example, I I only saw that that's a case today. I hadn't really like I don't like look at that much. But again, why is Flair with a person whose name alphabetically is after mine, who made their store four years after mine, listed higher than me, and they don't even have products in their store? How does that even make sense? <laughs> like that's bizarre they're they're obviously not like what is that and i see that all the time in merchant stores why are people coming up in search if they have nothing in their store okay green shot you sent me sassy uh the this giazo here okay well here i'll send you one from my store if you type in my store i mean i'm the only one that comes up thankfully i have a unique name but there's somebody that comes up with Misa Cosmetics uh, that has no items in their store. Yeah, why are they coming up at all? If, if, yeah. if, you're, if you're filtering out people's items that actually exist because you're, you've decided that they're old or they haven't had enough sales or whatever, which I hate that, that that's being done because that's, that's removing their portfolio of work, yeah. which can actually make people feel more secure about a content creator if they've got 600 items versus having 12. Um, you know, whatever, that's a sidebar. Um, if, why would you not filter out those people? They have nothing in their, in their store. I understand that they might have something in their store in the future. I myself have, have suggested people make a marketplace store so that they can get the ball rolling and, and then maybe it takes them another three months to actually have product. Sure. But if something's been sitting there and not used like that, you know, what if they're doing it to troll me? Who knows? I don't, I don't really yeah, think that. So- what if they're doing it to troll Blueberry? What if they're doing it to troll, troll Demma? What if they're just making these stores so that they knock them off the listing? I mean, if somebody's going to write bed 400 times, shady yeah. things have been done. Yeah. So this is a letter. So I'm going to actually post this in there because I want this noted down in um, in, in this meeting. Um, but this is a letter that I actually tried to send to the vice president of products because I really think honestly this needs to be addressed um and uh, i'm I'm actually going to put it in here because i want it for the record um and uh you know this is these are the things that are happening um i mean it's i get we're trying to find solutions here and stuff like that but the bottom line was the search wasn't broken prior to april it worked really really well marketplace was really really reliable and the thing is the thing is too what's been going on here excuse me my joke earlier about oh my god it's so much work is actually because i've dealt with customers for 17 years in sl and i always laugh so hard when somebody says oh my god i have to teleport and i think you don't actually have to stand up and physically walk across your real life room you know like (laughs) you're just clicking another button and you'll be there it's not actually a thing but that's that's how people approach this. So if you go to marketplace and you can't find the thing that you expect to find, 
Yeah. They're not going to go in world and look for you because they believe that they know that it exists and go to your store and then look for you through your store to find the set item that might be six rooms in on the left side, two, two meters up in the air. They're actually going to, I know, I know, I understand. I was just teasing, but it, they're going to actually just buy from somebody else or not buy. And every time they don't buy, that's 10% that the Lindens have also lost. Yeah, and also people who don't have good computers that can't handle the lag on these events, too. I mean, it's, it, it, it's, y'all have just, I mean, and again, I've been here 13 years. Wonderful. Yeah, the marketplace is, is, is what is allowing people with accessibility issues whether that be an older computer, whether that just be that they can't handle, even in Second Life, they can't handle lots of people. Yes, I know there's a friends only button, blah, blah, blah. But, no, you know, yeah, it, it's, it. yeah, it's, you're still, you're still limiting people and, and you're, you're creating this barrier to, to, for people to buy things, you know, right. and I, so, I well, and I don't so go to really events, I can't stand them. But visually, there's uh, there's so many reasons that Marketplace is a better alternative for a lot of people. You've got the translation options. Yes. You've got visual, being able to control plus if you have a visual issue, a vision yep. issue. You've got the ability to look more closely and read information that is not provided in the store. You've got the ability to collect uh, demos from numerous stores, up to 100 now, I believe the shopping cart is, rather than teleporting to 100 destinations to find said demos. You've got so many reasons that Marketplace is better. Coming from a, a background in, in blogging, for instance, I would be on a post stand, in the pose, holding the item. I'd have used an animation overrider thing to move my arm in, out of my hip or something like that. All these things that happen and then realize, oh my God, I need earrings or I need a hair or I want better shoes marketplace because I didn't have to move. I didn't have to lose what I was doing and I could do it. The amount of store owners that, that rely on marketplace to grab content for their vendor ads and stuff like that. It's, it was such a, a such a, a tool in our arsenal that made things so much better to have second life just progress never mind all the other reasons that you you'd want to help people with disadvantages you've broken it and now they don't have that and and that's a really really horrible sort of thing take away the money aspect take away what you've done financially to people which is horrible for for those people um it, there's so many other reasons that this needs to be fixed without it even tapping into the money side of things. Yeah, and without even tapping into new features. I mean, it just literally needs to be fixed. I mean, then you can talk about new features, but what's happening right now, I mean, really, it's... I, I can't tell you how many stories we hear on a daily basis. My customers are coming to me, I mean, and, and just... It's it's sad, it, and I don't know what to tell them. Please, What's please a, um, and it's spending a ticket, you know, and and that's a whole nother story. So uh, I've got three things down as major pain points. One of them is uh, the fact that we have trouble searching for stores. Uh, the merchant store tab obviously has its own issues, but we prefer to use the item product search, and in the keyword we would type in a store name. And that no longer pops up anymore. And that's something that we found really useful. And, and in a lot of times the discovery process, like or the, the journey you're going through, starts with a creator in mind and not so much uh, like a keyword for a product, like I'm looking for boots. I may, I'd be looking for somebody named Sassy who makes boots. Right. Okay. Yep. Then the other two I have is we think that product title is too heavily weighed in relevancy search results. So if you're typing bed, people are uh, either taking advantage of that and, or the fact that it's just simply too heavily weighted as an importance thing in Redland search where if you just name your product bed, then you're going to be at the top of the search. Um, and it can result in certain items that are literally like old three prims just because they're titled bed. Yep. And then another right. one was people spamming uh, keywords and the features tab. 
Uh, what other, what else did I miss? The features tab is the big one. That's that's really getting out of hand. Um, I would just, I mean, I think rolling back whatever was done with the titles is going to help a lot because people will be able to find their products. Um, getting rid of some of these stores that are literally taking advantage of, you know, this exploit now with the new changes, um, at least letting them know, hey, we're taking your store down until you fix your items. You know. How do you uh, yeah, feel who, about who how... Who is representing... Dis uh, sorry, sorry. Who is representing Marketplace in the Discord channel? Yeah. Because there's a Marketplace category, but... Um, <laughs> yeah, just go, just go read it. I, I mean, you've got creators and customers alike that will tell you exactly what's going on with the marketplace. Also, the forums. Who's who's in the forums? I mean, this is all over the place. This has been going on for eight months. Okay. Hey, we're definitely yeah. all in the forums. Um, the Discord the one's Discord? more complicated, though. Um, why is it com why is it complicated? It's your Discord. Yeah. It's the Second Life Discord, the Marketplace tab. Because Runita is in the PBR channel all the time, and Whirly and everybody from Firestorm and... and, and who, who was the first uh, one you named? So Runita, uh, Dave P, sorry, Dave P. Yeah, Dave, yeah. The PBR guy. He's, he's always in there um, chatting about PBR and and so is uh, uh, Cosmic Linden. I think she's always in there about the terrain stuff. But you, uh, I, I mean, I I can't keep up with them. Sometimes it's so funny. Nobody says anything for a week, and then suddenly four hundred messages come through, and it's hard to keep up. But um, it doesn't seem to be that there's reps from your team in there. And and right, really, wrong. I'm not even seeing them on the. Yeah. Are you on this in the group at all? Yeah, because what's happening is people are feeling like, and you if you get in there and you read, people are feeling like they're not being heard. They really are. That's the sentiment right now. Is they feel like Linden Labs is not hearing them, not, not listening. Well, I don't. I definitely don't want that. Well, um, I'll see what I, I can do about getting into the Discord. Okay. That yeah, would be because, awesome because because you know you're it's a one month once a month meeting, and there's just it's just too it's too important in the moment. Even if even if you'd been in there to be able to say, "Hey guys, we're working on this. We're we're getting it done. We understand it's New Year's Eve. We're working as hard as we can. We didn't expect to have to do this on New Year's Eve. So we're a skeleton crew. That would have just made everybody just go, "Thank you." Oh yeah, you would you know, have gotten tons of praise. Yeah, it would have been just a little bit uh, better for everybody um, to sort of deal with that, knowing that that was going on. And and as I said to to Moy, Moy this is Moy's. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, first meeting, I said this is my favorite of the meetings because. I actually feel we are heard and some of the best ideas come up in this meeting and whether or not they get put into place now or if it happens two years from now, you're standing there at the sink and go, you know, I remember that idea that happened. We should actually do that this year. Um, I don't care. Like, that's awesome. But I really do feel that you listen to us and that we're heard and I would like that to carry into the Discord because yeah. I really do think that this is a great team. I, I, I would agree. That. And I, I really think that you're going to find the community is, is going to be so welcoming as well, too. Um, but you're also, if you take the time and you read back on the history, I think it's going to be a real eye opener um, to the problems that people have been having. And you'll see that it goes back eight months. It goes back as it's a direct result of, um, of these changes that are made to the marketplace. Um, and I wish we could say they were for the better. I think we were all hoping it was. Um, but it would also help those it, that can't attend the meetings because of the timeline. Not everybody can be here at two exactly. o'clock in the afternoon on a weekday. 
you know, so at least, I mean, Pantera, I, I don't know if you knew this, Dima, but Pantera records these meetings. And so they are on YouTube and they are able to be viewed by, by the people that care about what's going on, but they don't have anywhere to discuss that after the fact. So being in Discord would be really helpful um, uh, to, to, to get that sort of back and forth because it is a long time, a month to month. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate the feedback and I, I think that, you know, like the engineering team has been working on improvements to search over, over time and obviously that big search overhaul, I, I know it hasn't met expectations, but I think it's going to put us in a better situation to be able to improve search into the future um, and make it more reliable. And once we fix these issues, I, I'm, I'm confident that um, I think people will be much happier. Um, I, I, I do hope so. I do. I do I have... too, because historically, also again, with my customer, you know, with, with managing lots and lots of stores over the years, I can tell you that Marketplace in the last 10 years has been used more by actual content creators than the 10 years prior to that. They kind of hated X Street. They kind of were really lazy on listings. And then it improved so much that people actually did use it. They did keep up to date. They did they did do what was mm -hmm. needed. You added managerial roles, which thank you so much for that because I used to have to dodgily sign in on everybody's account to list their marketplace. But <laughs> but um, so, you know, it, you've made great improvements and great strides, but something just happened in the last 12 months that just sort of broke everything really badly. And I'd like to go back to the year before that. Um, so, uh, you know. Please. Click back, <laughs> way back <laughs> Yeah. Seriously, that, please, that like roll it, back. <laughs> yeah, ro roll it back. But I wanted to actually, before this meeting ends, if really, really possible, I wanted to actually request something. Um, you, you, we've talked about feature requests before with Marketplace. I think one really, really important feature request to think about is could you please put little check boxes in every on every listing if you actually do search something and and say you go to a store my example will be this one um, alaska metro just recently added an outlet store right so she listed all her items from that she had retired previously and she realized lots of people wanted them back so she made a little outlet store and 10 lindens a pop i lost my mind I ran over there, even though I already owned most of her stuff, I just, at 10 Lindens, I don't care. But to actually buy all those items, I had to open 89 tabs to add them to my cart. If okay. those pictures are big enough and expressive enough, they include the names, they include an image, I should have been able to click the bottom right or bottom left and a check mark should have been able to appear and I should have been able to go click, 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 click. And there should have been a button that said add to cart. Bam, done, take my money please. And that doesn't just happen in that. Again, the same thing. If everybody's listing all their colors separately and you get a whole wall of, you know, 55 colors, you should be able to go pink, yellow, blue, blah, 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 blah. And, and you should be able to ch click on the ones that you actually like and add to cart. And it will just streamline the whole thing. And I can't believe that, you know, I never realized, but Alaska Metro and her outlet store made me see the light. And and one more thing too about the whole merchant stores thing. I think it's really because of banner blindness too. I don't think people actually realize when they look up that they have an option to change to a different section. So they have relied on just typing a name in that first tab and not realizing that they could have gone to a second tab. Um, I didn't know that. I didn't know that second tab was there until like I don't know five years in. Actually, I didn't really realize it was there for a long time. <laughs> so I, I've got a question. Um, I can't remember who mentioned this earlier, but they were talking about how like a lot of their customers have come to them with um, with problems, pre like post search yeah. changes. Um, like, what's the most common one you hear? They can't find my stuff. The they, most they, common they, they, problem is uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. They can't, they can't, um, they have, thankfully, I have Misa in the title of my name, so they can type in Misa, 
But if they typed in like uh, um, one of my bed names or something like that, or just typed in bed, because a lot of, they were used to it kind of like I was, they would type in bed. And I, I came up pretty much on the first page because it's, it's a pretty popular, I, I sell a really popular bed. Um, and they're just like, I can't find your stuff anymore. Thank God I knew your store URL. And I'm like, you know, it, it's, yeah, it's, you know, or they come, they come to the store now, but I've, I mean, I showed you the graph. I mean, you can, you, the graph doesn't lie. All my stuff goes through Casper Ben, so I get all that, um, all that data. Uh, my store sales have dropped 50%. So you said that uh, a lot of your customers are now finding you by just typing in MISA and just product search because you put it in your product titles? No, they actually, you can do that in regular search from my store because I've always branded my store. I always, always put MISA at the beginning of the title. Always. Right. I've always done that. And that's why they can find me. If I didn't have MISA at the beginning of the title, you wouldn't find anything. So like I used when you used to type in bed or like adult bed or something like that, I would come up like in the first page, um, along with nutmeg, apple fall, like everybody, like all the good, you know, not I don't want to say good, but all the top designers for the most part would come up, right? And and it seemed to be by ratings. Um, there was another relevance. I don't know how you guys were weighting it, but it was so good. And now I'm just, I, I've gone 10 pages deep, 11, 11 pages. I can't find my products anywhere. They're, yeah. they're nowhere. Have you, have you noticed uh, issues with fuzzy search impacting your, your kind of search performance as well? Is that? I don't even, I don't even use it. I mean, and I don't think well, a lot of people use it. That, that was the thing is we've never really had to use it. Uh, I guess when I when I say fuzzy search, what I'm actually referring to is when you search, for example, beds, uh, uh -huh. a search result that's titled bed singular uh, still gets uh -huh. returned. Have you uh, noticed that the lack of that ability is impacting your your you know uh, performance? Oh. Um, hang on, I'm doing a search right so now. So like fuzzy so search is uh, taking a guess at what you typed and thinking that you may have misspelled it. So like oh, let's that, say you were that, typing uh, like book and that, you accidentally that, hit the P key instead of the O key. That actually is broken too. <laughs> I know what you're talking about now. That's totally like doesn't even work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I was just yeah. confirming that, that you've noticed that. Yeah, that, that doesn't work either. <laughs> yeah, sir, I because I I I'm a I build Sims and so I'm constantly on the marketplace. I'm constantly looking for things and stuff like that, and it's been it's been really rough, really rough. So, and the well, funny thing, the thing is, is I know that the items are there. I know they're there and I can't find them anymore. And I can't remember the creator's name, right? You would, you, would, you would be typing bush. So you would be Action. typing, I want- Yeah, but- so, Hold on, hold on one second. If you typed blueberry bush, I I doubt that you should get blueberry clothing first. You should get a blueberry bush. But if I typed blueberry shorts, I should get blueberry the store shorts possibly. But this is this is that part about whether it's clothing item or whatever that would be really helpful in there as well, like a resable versus a wearable. Okay, so here I typed in blueberry shorts. I should get blueberry shorts, right? Nothing. Blueberry, I, I can't even imagine how many sales blueberry's losing. Nothing. There's nothing here for blueberry at all. I have it's 96 gotchas. items. It's all gotchas. Yeah. There's blueberry doesn't even come up. So, um, yeah, and go ahead. These should have been coming up. But she wasn't coming up, so again, she's she's probably lost heaps. I've had I've had store owners. Um, I've I had one one store owner. Unfortunately, I had to like talk her off the ledge a couple of months ago. She was she was ready to quit SL because she'd lost more than sixty percent of her revenue uh, income because of marketplace because sixty something percent of her her, her sales 
were marketplace sales and she's just lost them all. Um, the fact that people have stopped advertising with marketplace because they were just, it, it was pointless money that they were spending because it was not seeing any returns um, because the, the, something happened with ads or something this year. I think the, the active, the add on listings were, there was an issue with that, I think, three or four months ago. And so all these people were paying thousands and thousands of Lindens, but it was broken. And so what happened? Did anybody get refunds? I have no idea what happened. See, that's, 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 and that doesn't even seem to be, um, sorry, but that doesn't even seem to be, having Lyndon's go, wait, what's, what's just happened? How have we just suddenly lost, you know, potentially thousands of US dollars in advertising revenue suddenly? Why wouldn't that set off a red flashing light and a big bullhorn sound at Lyndon Lab? <laughs> you, mean, you, you said that, that um, are, are you just not using ads anymore? Is that why they're not showing up? I, I can't tell if I'm reading that right. No, he meant he meant that he he had ads. There were a whole lot of designers. I think this was like August or something. August September feels yeah. about right. It might have been earlier. Turned, something I happened. Turned on mine off. Your ads, and they weren't working. They weren't showing. People people weren't even the stats were showing that they weren't being viewed at all. Like they were having zeros in their stats um, for their ads. So all of these designers just went. I'm not doing it. And these were designers that were were doing six to a dozen ads every week, every month or every week or however they do them. And they just ripped that money away from you. But, but I, I, I'm guessing you don't deal with the money aspect side of marketplace ad revenue. So I guess nobody said, Hey, we've just lost all this ad revenue. Why? What's going on? Yeah. Cause I've, I've canceled all my ads cause I wasn't getting, it, they weren't even getting views. None of them. I don't know what happened. So just the last like couple zero, months, I just canceled zero, all my ads. Yeah. Zero. And I, I was spending stats. 15, uh, I was spending up to 8,000 Linden a week on ads and I canceled all of them. So I, I, I do need to, uh, to go because we're two minutes after, but what I do want to say is, is that I, I definitely am listening. And I took down a lot of notes on the feedback that we gave. And this timing is really good because we are looking at what we're going to be doing for the rest of the year. Uh, and Marketplace was something that we were heavily focusing on. You have to remember that we, we have to handle all of the web pages that SL has. Um, but Marketplace is one of our biggest focuses this year. So I'm, I'm glad to have this feedback so that I can take it back to our team and they can listen. And then we can figure out, you know, how, how do we make this better for everybody? And I'm going to make, a, a, you know, an effort to get on the Discord, and then also try to find other times for this meeting, because I know that some people can't make it to this time. Uh, because, you know, this feedback's really valuable, and I want to make sure that not only does, you know, are we there to hear it, but that everybody has a chance to be heard. So um, I'll definitely work on getting on the Discord. Um, thank you so much for the feedback. I, you know, you know, sometimes those things can be harsh, or, but they're really valuable to us. So don't ever pull the punches. Um, <laughs> I won't ever get upset. Okay. But yeah, I really appreciate everything. and. Uh, We'll, we'll definitely make it better. I was going to show up with a big giant protest sign that says fix the marketplace. <laughs> I would have definitely laughed. That would have, I would have made my day. Yeah, I, I yeah, was, you uh, know. Syntax, Inara <laughs> asked you a question earlier and, and it didn't get answered. Maybe, yeah, that what Inara just posted. Oh, okay. I'm here right now. That is something that we're attempting to do this year. But I can't promise anything. But please consider that checkbox thing because I think that that would make yep. for for a lot of extra spending too. I think that's a win win for both sides. <laughs> as long as, as long as you can find the items. <laughs> yeah, well that, that's true too. But but like I said, once you find it, if you can just go click 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 click, the whole having to open up a tab and and. And what I find I hate about that too is, 
you are looking at at all these items like when people were having sales i know you have to go i'm really sorry but when people were having sales just recently some of them put stuff on marketplace in sales and so you're scrolling and you're like oh i like that open a second tab oh i like that open a second tab but if you don't know to open a second tab or you accidentally click the thing you're pulled away from all the other options of of buying right exactly so if you're able to go down that uh, that page of all different items but just go add to cart add to cart add to cart add to cart you know and, and you're not pulled out of focus from the main place you're looking at or you are looking for something else but suddenly again the romper comes up that you weren't looking for add that to cart but keep going and looking for your beds you know that's that's definitely a a better option for everybody overall I think sir ch tweaking search styles um, are two of the most uh, highest things on the priority of a marketplace uh, I want to say highest thing on priority I mean like on my mind I don't even know what style it's not to convince I think others. I missed that that whole time of meetings. If it was 2022, I missed it. I, I got to run. Um, okay. I am looking through. forward to talking to you all again. Yeah, styles was variants, but it's like if you have a shirt for sale and you have a whole bunch of different colors of it, you can just have it oh. as one listing. Okay, so we did bring that up in in 2023 we talked about that being like an amazon page where you could then click the top click the purple click the thing add to cart yeah rather than listing okay that's awesome yay let's do that <laughs> 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 let's have that happen yeah it was so okay. good seeing you all, all and sassy sorry. so good to finally meet you <laughs> It's people you know forever, but you never see them in the flesh. <laughs> I know, I know. I love it. I love it. All right. Happy New Year, everyone. Thank you, Lyndons, for listening. So appreciate it. All right. Bye. Garfield, I was thinking about you the other day fondly, by the way, because I watched a trailer for a movie that Bill Murray was in, and he was playing a zombie, and they said, what is your biggest regret? And he said, Garfield. And I went, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah, Garfield. I know it was the other one, but you know, you've you've taken his place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I, I'm I'm glad to be hearing from you guys again. It's it's good to be back in the office, and it's good to hear from everyone. And thank you for showing up today and making your voice heard. And I, I'm really, you know, I'm I'm grateful, and I I think we're gonna be. I, I really hope we're go, we're going to have have time and be able to give you know the attention to marketplace search that it, it deserves here in the next uh, uh, hopefully a month or two. So um, we'll... I hope so too. I I think I'm more concerned about the people who are slowly leaving and closing their stores. Um, and please, yeah, join us on Discord if you can. I think you'll people will be really appreciative of that um, and you'll find the community is so welcoming and they will love you and praise you when things get fixed and you'll hear about things when they're broken just, just note some of them are a little bit cray cray though some of them go, <laughs> some of them go a little bit hardcore and, and some of them were so disgustingly rude about Zenra that I, I was sitting there going this is a Linden run discord right what is happening and Patch <laughs> lost his mind at them and I was like clapping on the sidelines and I got attacked for actually being pro Senra at one point and so yeah they can be they can be scary people um <laughs> but but yeah the discord is definitely a good idea because these these monthly meetings are fantastic they, they are if this is my favorite one and a month is just so long yeah, yeah. a month is long yeah because that's only 12 12 meetings a year yeah, we've we've talked about holding them potentially more often, and I think that's still an open uh, uh, possibility. And I'll bring it up um, okay. with Syntax oh, again yeah. to see if uh, see if we can make that happen. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it's it's definitely yes. the highlight of my month too. Syntax uh, didn't <laughs> say that he was going to start going to the content creators meetings, but he hasn't appeared at one yet. 
think he was um, at the last but, one. Um, I think I was. Uh, I was there, and he the was there. One. I think so. Oh, uh, he wasn't there. One, but okay. you, I saw you at the last one. But but what I was going to say is that that would be great. However, I do feel like that would mean that there would if, if people started talking about marketplace at that meeting then that would lose the people that want to discuss other things. So I, I, I would rather just have two web user meetings a month, not not you go into another meeting, if that makes yeah. like, Do you know what I mean? Each meeting deserves its full, full 59 and a half minutes that it gets. <laughs> yeah. We've, we've, we've talked about kind of coalescing behind like value streams inside the company where we're, we have more of a focus on marketplace as a product. And I've, thought about maybe like we could have like a marketplace user group or something um but that that's I, I can't promise anything like yeah, that no, no, uh, no. but we understand we I, I, like I, everything. I, you know what if you do that i will apply the linen labs as a product manager because that's what i am in real life <laughs> <laughs> i'll manage I, the marketplace I, product <laughs> yeah I'd love I'd, to, actually I'm 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 just an engineer, so I can't I can't speak for uh, you know what what we could actually make happen. But I I know it yeah. you know we we'd love it more is, people who do second life to work at second life. It is deserving of its of its own thing. Like I mean I, I know it has been mentioned in the past, and and it has been explained that you take care of all the web. So that means you're in charge of the Linden Homes page, and you're in charge of the website, and you're in charge of all of these things. That's a lot to dilute from marketplace because marketplace is a majority of what second life has become commercially marketplace as i said historically was not the everything it was just a little bit of an add-on now it's become the everything i don't even have a store in world at the moment i am only marketplace and it and it I don't know how people find my products. They have to be actually seeing the product in the wild somewhere to have actually been. <laughs> can you yeah. um, can you send me an example like search for what people might typically use to find your product, and then uh, if you have I a have link no directly to mine. one of your products, <laughs> um, what's up? Honestly, with mine, I would have no idea what they're searching. Like this, this um, tumbler oh. that I'm using now seems to be the more popular item at the moment. But because I don't have a store, it wasn't. It was in a Lazy Sunday, which is marketplace event, like when it was launched. But I've been having dribs and drabs of sales since. The only thing that I can work out that is selling it is that it's it's being seen because it's animated. So I think people are seeing somebody wearing it and going, oh, and then asking or inspecting them to find out where it is. That's the only way I can imagine that they're finding it because, yeah. it, you know, searching bottle or, or, or drinking, or, you know, would bring up so many other items before mine. Yeah. Um, Okay, so it's this Flair store, right? I'm just making sure I'm looking at the right one. Mine's just Flair. It just says Flair. Yeah. yeah. Flair. Okay. Um, I do, I do want to know, like, do you have any idea, Garf? Like I said, I'm not, like, because I only have a few items, you know, because I was working for other people for so long, I sort of put my own store on the back burner for years. But I do not understand why Flair sold by... Um, uh, Demi, can you take your mic off for a second? Because we're hearing... Oh, sorry. Thing. No worries. Um, it, it, why uh, Sal Winter Wolf is showing up above me? I'm not. I'm not upset they're above me. I don't understand why they're above me. That's all I'm trying to understand. Is because you know, Sassy comes before Sa, and Scarborough comes before Winter Wolf, and we're both spelling it the same. And their story is 2010, and mine is 2006. I yeah. don't understand why they're above me. Okay. Um, yeah, a couple things. Um, I mean, the first of which being that we, tr uh, as a policy, try not to reveal too much about how, how the search works under the hood so that people right. don't game it. Um, so no, I don't no, know no, that no, how I much I could actually reveal. But, but I also can tell you I don't actually know why that would be the case at the moment. Um, right. I didn't. Uh, I, I wasn't involved with the overhaul for the search. Um, but right. that's, a, that's something we're trying to... We're trying to cross pollinate better with our products, um, so right. that's because, that's going to change. Because, um, because even name A to Z, they're above me. 
that doesn't make sense. And what is the search term that you're using to, to search for that? No, my store, Flair. Oh, oh, I so, see. You, uh, so if you go you to, if you go to here mm -hmm. and, you, and you're in the merchant stores, they're above me whether I search name A to Z or relevance. They're above me. And it may, and again, I don't oh, yeah. care. It's just that I was sort of like when I was looking at the it's... stuff to, to bring up examples, I just chose mine to see. I'd never noticed that before. And I'm suddenly like, what mm -hmm. is happening there? How is that even possible? Because it doesn't actually make any sense. None it's because of no those items. it's because of those special characters at the beginning, which we should be stripping out uh, when we What's special characters. The solar flare store is that what you, no, the one no, you're referring no, no, to? No, 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 no. Oh, Look sorry. At the two, the two with the same name. We're both flare. Oh, oh, I see. There. This is sold by Sal Winterwolf and then sold by Sassy Scarborough. They're mm -hmm. above me, but alphabetically, I would be above them. And by name, yeah. we've got exactly the same name. I don't understand. Again. I don't even need to own Flair. I'm just saying <laughs> that this doesn't make actual sense. Uh, so is something well, also broken there? Because it even comes up if you do A to Z. And I, I, I know my alphabet. A to Z puts Sassy Scarborough above Sir Winterwolf. I'm, I'm guessing oh. uh, that it, it we don't actually do anything beyond just filtering the documents that are in the store and sorting them by name. And then we... It's probably just that in in the the store in the document store that the uh, uh, that that document that record of Sub Winterwolf's is probably just it it's before yours, um, and so I think maybe what we can do is apply a secondary sort so that uh, we are uh, you know waiting something else in addition to just the name. So maybe we look at well, do they have any products in their in their store? How popular is their store? Um, and well, we they have no products, stop. so that's really weird yeah. to me too. Like, they have no products, which is, which was brought to mind. It's like, you're trying to clean up Marketplace. That's one thing I would do straight away. If your store doesn't have products in it, you shouldn't list the Marketplace. Right. And also, if, they're spamming, some people, if they're spamming the Features tab. Right. But I think some people are just parking store names so that they have them if they decide to make a store in the future. And so they're just just filling up that thing or, or like I said you know I never really thought about it and again I don't care but I've seen some shady crazy practices when I opened the deck region back when I actually blogged and and did more and was more in the spotlight the day I opened the deck I did my I did my recon I made sure that nothing I did was was stepping on anybody's toes I made sure that my name of my region all of that Nobody had it. Nobody did it. It wasn't anywhere. Marketplace, search, <laughs> groups, everything, right? The day I opened, the next – it was packed. The next day, somebody had a 512 parcel that they called the deck, right? <laughs> yeah. And, so, and, and, the, and they were botting it so that it would come up in search. I don't know what it achieved for them. They were trolling me. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care, <laughs> right? Okay, but I had renters. I cared about that. But what I'm saying here is, like, if people are doing that to other stores, I don't believe that this is what Sal Winterwolf's doing. I'm not, I'm not that crazy. I'm just saying that it wouldn't surprise me if there's stores in Marketplace that are there just to mess with other stores that are in Marketplace. So if a store right. is empty, it shouldn't show. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that's a great suggestion, and I've written it down. And I think Thank you. if we, I, I'm hoping we'll get some time here to improve search, and I think that would be one of the really quick wins uh, that that could help. And then also, Yay. I think applying a secondary sort to that view uh, yeah. would would also help, so that you know maybe we're ranking stores by popularity, um, yeah. and that that would that would I mean, be relevance, beneficial. Relevance is is fine. Uh, again, I'm not that crazy obsessed that I'm 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 like oh I should be at the top no um, <laughs> I'm not that girl but but I just like me going but their name is not alphabetically better wait their story is younger than like I was just trying to work out what made them stack higher than me and the fact yeah. that you have a relevance and the fact that you have an alphabet a to z or z to a it doesn't seem to to make any difference so I feel like it's a bug Mm -hmm. Yeah, it very well could be. Um, and we'll I'll I'll 
I've written down to take a look at that um, as well. So thank you for, awesome. for bringing that up. Thank you. Um, I do have to get going, uh, but but yes. thank you everyone. Uh, this is this has been really really helpful, and I I really think that you know by making your voices heard, you are shaping a product, and I, I think it will help us uh, you know fight for the time that we need to to improve marketplace. So um, thanks for coming awesome. around. Thanks Garfield, and thank you Pantera for all your hard work. Yes, Yay. thank you Pantera. Always appreciated. All right. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye. Happy bye, New Year. Wolfie. Bye, Dima. Bye, Jenna. I'll t um, see you again in the wild in the future. And Hannah up there, <laughs> I, hope, I hope that your ear feels much better very soon.